major decision that they were going to invite the Mzepe Foundation and yourselves, and we're going to talk about women in engineering. Believe in yourself and believe in your own dreams. Don't let anybody steal those away from you. Our job um, here today is not a small one. We are here to inspire you and literally impart whatever knowledge we may have, whatever skills we may uh, be able to give you within this few hours so that you can go and transform um, the world as we know it. The thing is, is that as engineers, we build things not for today, but for 50 to 100 years time. So think about anything iconic. So some of the buildings that we see around the world, right? The building that we're in right now wasn't just built yesterday to last until tomorrow, right? It was probably built around 60 years ago. Work hard. Work hard and be passionate about what you're doing. Passion, hard work, that leads to success. Women well, just really proud to partner with the Mazepi Foundation. You know, very much a shared vision and alignment to really focusing on education, girls' education, and more importantly, STEM education. And uh, Dr. Precious said, uh, for you to be inspired, you need to know she was a young girl like yourself. If we have to build an equal society, we also need men to participate in ensuring that girls become successful in life. From the time we were your age, you know, we didn't sit back and complain about the fact that engineering was so hard, or it was only for men. We said, actually, we want to be the change we want to see in the world. Seven years ago, as a matriculant, we were actually just dropped off here at Saibono. And being a Mitsipa Foundation bursary um, beneficiary means a lot to me because it actually motivates me to study a lot harder. We've got to find young women in schools at high school level from grade 8 who we can then influence um, as part of the pipeline to then take on STEM you know, um, adversity and as well as um, in the workplace. What we're doing here today is just reminding them that they can actually do better if they know better. That we are the people who have gone into the, gone into the industry, have seen how it works and we're coming back and paying it forward. That the girls themselves, they can go into every single stream with tools equipped to know how to navigate this very difficult, very male dominated profession. There are stereotypes on women being uh, weak and not being suitable for engineering jobs and all that. So I think this event is really good to inspire the young girls, the grade eights and nines, to, to want to pursue careers in engineering and want to reach out in the world out there, being engineers and filling, out, filling up the female places of engineers in South Africa and Africa as a whole. I, I believe that I heard the quotes by Dr. Precious Moloi Mutsipe saying that the girls, if they believe in themselves, that because you need that information, you need that drive to actually stand in a room full of men and stand your ground. I think it's also important to really give exposure, opportunities and choices for the girl child because that's the only way we can change the world and change South Africa in particular. So we need to educate our young people um, to, and develop them as the workforce of tomorrow. Um, I can achieve many things if I can take, if I can study science and maths because it's important and it can open many doors for me. And I've also like to take the STEM route so that I have, I, I can achieve my dreams in future and be able to do what I want. I think there should be more events like this to inspire girls all around the world to believe in themselves so that we as women gain our power back so that Nothing can be only for men, but always for women. Girls.